Okay, April. Here we're going to go reading with the second deck, which is the Oracle of Shadows and Light by Lucy um, Cavendish. And the artwork is by Jasmine Beckett Griffith. And as I said in the last video, um, Etsy.com slash The Standing Stone. Um, it's Piper, if any of you guys watch Piper on YouTube, it's her Etsy shop. And she managed to find me the, um, duh, I can't think. She managed to find me the, um, Sheep Shifters deck, which is the second one that's currently only being released, um, outside of the U.S. right now. So I super love her for that, that she found it for me. I'm excited. So thank you for that, girl, and uh, for doing the special order for me. You rock. Thank you. Okay. So here we go, April. Eh. Little hearted. Eh. Okay. Okay. So here is the bug. It's not a hard cover. It's a soft cover. And I... Oh, my God. Look at the energy. My freaking screen is flickering. Pretty crazy. Anyway, so I guess the cards are communicating good today. So that's that. And this is the deck. I mean, this deck is just, oh my god. Actually, her, the Jasmine Beckett Griffith, her sister has um, an Etsy shop called Strangeling, Strangeling Jewelry. And I just got, I'm freaking super excited because I freaking love The Wizard of Oz. So I just got a dog tag of her artwork, of Dorothy, and the, um, Dorothy, and then on the other side is Dorothy, the Tin Man, the Scarecrow, and Cow the Lion on the other side, which is awesome. I can't wait to get it. And the next one I want to get, she has a Alice in Wonderland on one side, and Snow White and Bambi on the other, which I have to get because my pop Bambi. But, um, so I'm excited about that. And they're really cheap too. It's like freaking like twelve bucks, which was awesome. Awesomeness. Okay, so we're doing a deck, a deck shuffle, 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 shuffle. All right, now, April, my apologies. There's gonna be a lot of reading for this deck, but um, this deck is a lot. I think a lot more intuitive than the Gemstone Oracle, but we shall see. We shall see. All right, so we're going to do a left to right. So first one, second one, and then the third. Can I get the no? All right, and then the third. Okay. Now, all righty. Now, they're upside down. Okay. Um, so April, the first card that you got was card number 18, which is the Violet Duchess. Stifled, bored, and stuck. So do you feel stifled, bored, and stuck? Okay, so let's, um, go to number 18 and let's see what we got. Here we go. Okay. Card 18, the Violet Duchess. The message. Stifled, bored, and stuck. About the Violet Duchess. Bored, stifled, and ah, yes. She's trying to be good and nice, polite, but it's not working. This lovely and very passionate aristocrat has her fairy wings tucked firmly in, not visible at all, and still sitting stiffly, listening to someone give a lecture on manners. She's polite on the surface, but it's easy to see and feel that she's bored, frustrated, and ready to fly away at the first opportunity. She is tired of the stuffiness of people around her, of being proper, formal, and even ladylike. She finds herself restricted by a world where manners and protocols have become more important than spontaneity, magic, freedom, and she longs for that. For now, she will bide her time, but she can only see the frustration growing beneath. And frustration it is. After all, only after all, only your own life force turned within and longing to break free of the restraints. The Violet Duchess speaks. In your admirable quest for balance, you can actually become too neutral. 
pretending to be serene, acting polite, not making waves, and not speaking your truth. Now that I've arrived, showing you exactly how you feel, it's time to discover, or rediscover, a raw and honest emotional reaction you had to a person or an issue, and express it. It's all very well being, a lover of harmony and not wanting to be the troublemaker, but being lukewarm, being a being lukewarm person in regards to situations that really matter is not going to do you any favors. Bottling up your true self, in turn, leads to unhealthy relationships, aches, pains, and even illness. When I come up, go for the passionate and truthful option and rediscover how strongly you can feel and how much fun you can really have. Her divination message. Your desire to be liked, to please, and to be seen as a lady or a gentleman is cheating yourself out of something wonderful that you deserve to experience. Sometimes there are rules that simply need to be broken. Keeping to the spirit of the law sometimes means breaking the letter of the law. That's how things change. There is a situation at the moment that has revealed itself as unjust, unfair, and absolutely unattractive to you. But you have yet to speak up. The most inspiring thing about this situation is that you'll discover just how safe it is to stand up for what you truly believe in. Others will be inspired too. So while it feels like you're taking a risk at first, after a while you realize you've started your own small revolution. And you know what, April? I think this card totally speaks to you because I think maybe um, Spirit is kind of saying you're doing an awesome thing with your new YouTube channel. I think that's, that's what I think. Okay. All right, so let's get to the second card. Ooh, she's pretty. The second card is the Ghost of the Pumpkin Patch. Isn't she pretty? Love the eyes. And she says... Count your blessings. <gasps> and this is card number one. How lucky is that, huh? Out of a 40 card deck, April, you've got card number one. Now I just gotta get to the right page. Cool. So her message is count your blessings. About the ghost of the pumpkin patch. This adorable forlorn little figure is almost transparent. So still and quiet that you may overlook her. Thinking you have just seen a whiff. A wisp of mist go traveling past, when really, all the time this little ghost is silently standing before you, gently reminding you of something very important, that it soon will be time to harvest again, and the ghost of the harvest mist in the past will come back to haunt you if you don't take the time to look around you right now at all that is. She is not invisible, she is always there, a reminder that the seasons turn, 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 and that the harvest must be brought in. And that those who stay with the earth a while are not always here to haunt you negatively. They are here to help you till your work is done. This gentle ghost loves her misty home, adores appearing to you when you have forgotten your blessings and your rights, and appears at exactly the right time in your life, when you have nearly forgotten how lucky you really are. The ghost of the pumpkin patch speaks. Something that is a blessing is being overlooked. It appears cloaked and seems almost invisible to you. You must stand in your field, that is to say, your life, and look around you and see that all that you have been given to you again and give thanks for it. You are forgetting how much you truly have and how much you will have again and again. My time is the harvest and it is now time for you to bring in or harvest the joy and love of what you have so much of. And share your abundance. Her divination message. Something precious is all about you, but it has become so familiar that you can barely see it anymore. It is a fixture in your life that familiarity has bred, if not contempt, a kind of blindness. The beautiful little girl, ghost in the pumpkin patch, asks you, very gently, to see the abundance all around you and to appreciate that while you are in your physical form, there is so much you can enjoy. She wishes for you the harvest. What is yours now and to take steps to call in any debts that can be outstanding money issues associated with this card that share the bounty. Do not let anyone cheat you and know that you don't own a single thing in truth. It will always pass through your hands, but still, ironically, these things you have earned through your hard work are worth protecting 
They are not too small. They are not too ordinary. You have more material wealth than you think. So please do count your blessings every day. And the third card is the dried fit the dried flower fairy. Sweet memories. And that April is card number eleven. Eleven eleven. There we go. Okay. About the dried flower fairy. The darling little fairy just loves to collect memories and to treasure them. Wearing them as garlands, their sweet faded fragrance reminding her of happy times. She helped you by collecting all your happy sweet memories and keeping them from fading too. She has wings that resemble the wonderful monarch butterfly which is renowned for the vast distances it can travel. So these memories may be from a very long time ago. Down through the ages but they are still able to fly and reach you with their message of love, sweetness, whenever you currently find yourself. When you experience a difficult, difficult challenging time, the dried flower fairy flies to your side, shows you a moment that you had forgotten, and magically the present moment transforms. You will always have her with you, most especially in the times when those sweet memories seem the furthest away. She will come to you. She will remain with you. Expect calls out of the blue, bumping into old friends, a photograph of a loved one, or a reminder of happiness coming to you in the sweet and serendipitous ways. The dried fairy flower speaks. Do you remember that time when you played with the fairies in the garden? Do you remember when your imaginary friend was more real than your own parents? What was the first time you ever noticed a shadow quivering in the light? Swam in the sparkling sea. Held hands or exchanged glances with someone you like more than just friends. When you have given a gift for no reason. Hugged a friend. Had a perfect day. Found messages from angels in the clouds. You seem to have forgotten all the precious moments. So I have been busy gathering them up for you. I now return them to you so your sadness can be transformed into happiness. Let happiness, bliss, and gifts for no reason become possibilities to you, for you to believe again. When I see you smile and treasure a moment from the past in the present, I know my work is truly done. Her divination message. You may soon be experiencing little reminders of the sweetest, most fun, and uplifting times in your life. The kind, of, the kind that have no great significance historically, but in the story that is your life, there are pivotal moments. I could see a rainbow, a star shining bright, or a photograph of your father holding you closely in his arms or receiving the knowledge and sudden realization that something you did made a large and meaningful difference in someone's life. You have so many jewels. It's time to shift through the precious moments in memory, and by honoring these and feeling them again, change the present for the better. The magic of your sweetest memories will be worked into the present moment, and your current struggle will be momentarily relieved, and um, transcendent feelings being one with all that is will return giving you the strength to go on and w do what must be done. Wow. So, April, um, if you don't want to um, send me a comment to this on YouTube, I'm, I'm really, you know, wanting to see if any of this, like if I did a good job, did any of this apply to you, can you shoot me a message on Facebook, please? Um, so, I know if I did a good job or not. Um, please let me know. Um, all right. Love you.